hello everyone welcome back to julie see youtube channel today this is going to be the mukbang she's going to be having yeah so i'm going to be taking you people along with what i'm going to be having man it was not prepared quick what this is the watermelon i'm going to be having yeah this is i'm also going to be having my blueberry this is the pack yeah all these are going to be put together i will be having my organic zucchini I'll be having that too in addition to everything. Here comes my carrot. I'm going to also be having this uh, vegetable to eat too, my carrot. So this is going to be a carrot, stroke, fruit, salad, mukbang. So I hope you guys are going to have fun while well, we're going to be having this mukbang. We're going to be talking along we're going to be chatting the chatting is going to be fun it's going to be interesting so in that chat i just like you to drop your thoughts and your comments yeah keep watching this is an apple this is also going to be part of this fruit salad see how greenish it looks yeah <laughs> hi guys welcome back to today's smoke bank yeah today is going to be a fruit and carrot mukbang it's going to be fun because we're going to be talking along with it yeah and the topic is going to be an interesting one is my in-laws don't like me my in-laws ignores me i think they don't like me what do i do yeah so keep watching while we discuss and have a mukbang along with it yeah father we thank you for this bless this me in jesus name amen yeah, you're welcome to my mug bank. Food mug bank. Why would you pause? Along. And this mug bank, I'm going to be eating with my hands. <laughs> and my feet. Both. Same time. Wow. <laughs> the topic before us is my in laws. Are ignoring me I think they don't like me what do I do well wow. these are interesting and sensitive topic mm -hmm. what do I do hmm. you think your illa don't like you what about if I twist it this way? I say, it's just a thought. It's not real. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think? Just a thought. Just an assumption. It's not real. So how about if we say, that is just an assumption. Just, that is just happening in the brain, in your head. That is just a twist might be true yeah you're thinking your in-laws don't like you what i just have to say is you don't have to bother yourself about it just be yourself just do you yeah when you do you you're not going to be worried about what people think about you, what they feel about you, because you're just living your best life. Yeah. Another way you could go about it is the question this way. I call my mother in the... She doesn't pick my call. She ignores me. What do I do? What I'm going to say is, how about you discussing it with your husband wisely, not confrontational? Maybe you go this way. Oh, I just called mom. And um, 
she didn't pick my call i hope everything is okay with her i do hope she's fine yeah i was a little bit worried yeah then you have been able to let your husband know that you called but there was no response yeah you don't have to confront him okay yeah you don't have to be worried about it you don't have to be confrontational about it yeah and just relax and do you when i mean do you i mean be yourself don't be don't set your bar high don't set your expectations too high for your in-laws what do i mean i mean we don't have to start expecting them to treat you in a certain way when you do that you're not going to be disappointed when you do that you're going to be at peace with yourself yeah that is how i feel about it also i'm going to give an example for example i'm going to say The way my father-in-law is laughing, I don't know if he's laughing with me or he's laughing at me. No, you don't have to. These are new families, this is a new home. They don't know you. Neither do you know them. You're trying to adjust. So, as I was saying, these people, they are trying to adjust to the new you because you're new in the family and uh, just the way you're new in the family you're trying to know them so also are they trying to know you too you don't have to raise your back up just the way you respect your family your parents i'm going to say it's going to be nice to respect them too guys remember i said i'm going to be eating with my hands and my face together <laughs> this is a mukbang so we're just chatting as i said today we're really looking for a way to be close to your ears don't force yourself don't force yourself for them to like you don't try to be something that you're not because those things they won't expire it's going to be like, oh, you have been faking it. That will be good. It will look like, oh, what else can we see again? She's not real. That's why you don't need to force yourself. Just be yourself. If you're a kind person, continue to be kind. If you like to call your parents, Still can try you can to still call them. Don't expect too much from them. Because these people, they are different from you. The way you were brought up, the way your family, and don't expect that family to also be that way. You want to be seeing so many new stuff that you've never seen before. 
He's okay. As you're trying to get into your in-laws, know them better, I just want to encourage you. You have to be patient too. Be patient with them. Be prayerful. Don't tell, don't start talking about your illness to your parents or your family. That is no good. It's not going to help. Mm -hmm. For example, you guys are going visiting. There is a value that is good. You don't have to close your bank account for them now. It might be cheap, it might not be expensive, but it's good. It's what a gift. You buy it and you go give it to them. Mm -hmm. We are not trying to buy their love, no. Don't go out of your way to please your in-laws because that will fix them up. That is fake. It's not real. So when I'm talking about gifts, if you're the type that like gifts, does not necessarily mean you have to do it. It has to be what you like. So when you are patient with your parent, with your in-laws, you have to respect them. Yeah. Respect what they do. Be kind to them. Be nice to your just be yourself around your in-laws don't need to fight them yeah and we pray on god on your side they are going to like you just the way you are i hope this be of help to one or two persons yeah <laughs> my watermelons are all here wow see how mine <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this extent, you're not subscribed to this channel, I would like you to do that. You're welcome. This is a loving channel. Peaceful home, a place to be. You're going to enjoy it. I expect more of this from me and much more of amazing stuff. This is a fun place to be. Yeah. I'd like you to subscribe. And click the notification bell so whenever i upload a new video you're going to be the very first to know about it yeah and for all of my amazing subscribers that always come to support me i say thank you so much share this video drop your comment remember i always enjoy you dropping your comment share to your friends and loved ones and we're going to see in my next video. But before I finally leave, I'm going to give this scripture to you. Yeah. Let's turn to the scripture. Keep watching. This is all I could eat. You can see that, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Let's go to the scripture now. Yeah, this is the verse for the day. It says... Her husband can trust her, and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. May the Lord bless this word into her heart in Jesus' name.
有妹。